So in this video, I'm going to explain how you can take the products from your local store like Poundland, Argos, Asda and sell it on eBay and turn into the profit. In this video, I'm going to show you five products from Poundland, which I'm going to show you how to list them, how to price them and how to process the order as well. But the most important thing that I want to show you something that somebody who recently started doing it, how they are making 900 pound every single month. I was recently doing a live stream and somebody in a the chat, they asked me me to look at their store. I open up their store to give them some tips that how they can find more products and improve the sales as well. And that was my product idea. This was the probably video which got a lot of views. They are literally doing what I am always talking about from a couple of years on this channel as well. So they actually decided to take action. Me, I'm, I'm not trying to say this, uh, look at me, I always give you product idea, you can make money, all that kind of stuff. I'm not trying to be bigger person here. I think the bigger person is the one who actually decided to take action and somebody in the comments they said that with the with the with the fee and posted not, not much profit left it's okay because you don't you're not relying on one item at the end of the day as well so never uh try to think about like okay well there isn't much profit in this one so i'm not gonna sell it even you are making a small profit from the item as long as it is profitable you have to think about what i will be doing otherwise a lot of us we leave money on the table because we think about there is a small profit and that's really bad thinking that's really bad mindset this is the way a lot of people they're not able to get started as well so that's wrong and you have to keep in mind this person actually started very very recently as well and they didn't spend any money up front so by selling these wd-40 from a pound land and combining them with other products as well which they are only spending two to three hours every single day to process the order all that kind of stuff you know in exchange of that if you're making 900 pound where you didn't spend any money up front as well and you have to keep in mind that everybody have to get started from somewhere i don't think so it's a bad idea and we actually have to demotivate ourselves like you know uh, it it is a small profit and all that kind of stuff as well i think we have to have a positive mindset and you have to think about what we will be doing otherwise if we are not working on these kind of stuff as well so probably playing games or watching netflix and those kind of things as as well at the end of day there you will have to spend money this is the way you will actually learn something and you are starting your business from somewhere you don't really climb on the top of Eiffel tower straight away you have to start from the bottom and slowly slowly you will be there once i started my business this is how i started as well and if you stay consistent and if you keep on doing it one day you will reach to the point where you can actually rely on this for full time so let me show you the five products from Palmland that you can actually list them onto your eBay store. I'm going to show you how to list them. The reason I'm showing you because if you're just going to copy the pictures, copy the title, all that kind of stuff as well, and you don't know how to price them and what your complete business plan is behind it, this is not going to work as well. On the top of that, I'm going to show you how to process the order, all that kind of stuff as well. So let's get started. The first item that I recommend you get started from is WD-40. And I'm going to explain you why it work for some people and why it doesn't work for some people and this is very very important for you to listen as well so first of all if you're just gonna come to palmland website i've seen a lot of people on ebay they just simply copy this title they copy this picture right here and they just copy these detail and they put that inside the ebay description right here as well and it doesn't work for them because all they have done is just they simply took the title from here and they took the picture and details from here as well. And a lot of people do the same thing because they are just simply really lazy. They are not really putting any efforts inside. So if you want to really stand out and you not want to directly compete with those lazy people as well, you do have to put a little bit of efforts inside your listing as well. This is how you're going to see the sale. So first of all, you have to think about, okay, what is the minimum profit? Profit I'm gonna make from this particular item so you have to I'm gonna explain about one item and obviously for rest four of them in total I'm gonna show you five items so you will overall understand the concept how to actually price the item and how to actually list the item as well so first of all we decide what price we're gonna sell on so this is obviously one pound and the way I 
recommend this one is you combine three of them together or four of them together i suggest starting with combining three of them together so if you combine three of them together it's gonna cost you three pound to buy this item and if you ship this one with every which is hermes you're not gonna have any problem with like you know aerosols and those kind of stuff as well because royal mail do not really accept uh, you know aerosols and uh, pressurized cans and that kind of stuff as well so a lot of people they sell it on ebay and they really don't have any problem whatsoever so if you go to this one it's going to cost you 269 we're not going to do 269 because we need to use some packing which i show you what kind of packing you can use you can just simply go on ebay and you can you can even use a bin bag as well if you don't want to buy packing that's really not a problem gray mailing bags so these one right here these are really really cheap like literally if i open this one right here let's say 50 bags right 50 bag is costing you eight pound and 40 pence but if you're just starting out here think about well you know i don't need to spend eight pound 40 that's fine just use the bin bag wrap the item in a bin bag and you can put the seller tape on it more than enough no problem whatsoever okay so obviously we need to use bin bag we need to use packing so we're gonna say the postage price for this one is gonna be three pound we're not gonna uh, say 269 even though it is 269 right here so what you need to do is like everything that i will mention in this particular video is going to be absolutely free like all the tools and all that kind of stuff as well so you come to this ebay fee calculator i'm gonna leave the link for that next to the timestamp as well below the like button that's the best time to press the like button as well so first of all leave the selling price empty just put the cost price for this one so shipping charge we are gonna offer free shipping so we're gonna put zero and the shipping cost that it's going to cost us we're gonna put three pound as i said packing all that kind of stuff as well and the item cost because we're combining three of them together so we're gonna put three here as well because we as i said to stand out you need to combine three of them together so break even cost for this one is six pound and 30 pence now you have to decide how much profit you want to make i suggest you start with two pound minimum profit so if i do let's say eight pound and 30 pence i put two pound on the top of that one so even let's say two pound i'm not making two pound uh, with 830 i'm not making two pound profit let's say 10 30 right that i'm gonna make two pound and 68 pence profit so what i suggest is like you start from minimum let, let's say two pound and then you can once you get the feedback slowly slowly you can can increase the profit this is the way you obviously you have to think about you're not competing with other people directly in the terms of price you have to make your listing better than them so the customer will actually see your listing and it's gonna pop up on the first page as well because this is how most of the time the sale gonna come to you as well so a lot of people they also talk about zen this item right here it's available on a poundland website right why people don't go to poundland and they come to ebay and they will buy from me the reason for that is not a lot of people have a poundland close to them a lot of people living in cumbria lake district living in the small villages inside of scotland or even you know if you come like i'm here around newcastle a lot of people don't have a poundland close to them as well they have to literally travel like at least 30 50 miles in order for them to go there so it's it's better for them to actually just purchase it online as well so if you manage to bring your listing onto the first page which i'm going to show you how to do that at the same time you will be able to make a sale out of it so first thing that i want to do because you want to combine three of them together you have to make some changes inside your picture so you come right here you copy this picture and you can put this picture on a desktop obviously i'm gonna do put uh, on a desktop i'm just trying to save a picture once we have this picture now we need to make some changes into this picture in order to stand out from the crowd in order to stand out from other people so the way i do that is a website called canva this is absolutely free it doesn't really cost you anything i'm gonna leave the link for that inside the description as well so you come to canva and you put this one right here your wd-40 you can obviously depending on a frame you can expand it do whatever the way i try to do is like because you are selling three of them together so 
the first way you can do is, you know, you can just simply say 3x and you bring it right here and you can change the color for that one to the color of your text to make it a little bit bold and we can change the color to something which stand out a little bit more. Let's say the red one, right? So this is the way, that's the first way to actually kind of, you know, tell people these are three of them together so they feel like they're getting a good value. You actually change the picture, not directly copy the picture from a website. There are more ways to actually change it, which I'm gonna show you as well. The other thing that you can do if you don't want to have a 3x, you can just simply put this one small and copy this one, paste one and two times more. So you have actually now three pictures as compared to one. So this is the way you actually have simply changed the picture. You can, you know, make an arrangement where however you want to do it. This is not the same picture we have copied and this is what a lot of lazy people gonna do. They're just gonna simply copy the picture. So this is the way they are not really giving more information to the buyer, uh, you know, because you're sending three of them together, but also you're making some changes. So it's a win-win on the both end as well. The other way I recommend minimum uploading eight pictures. So other way you can actually make more of these pictures right you can just simply add some next day delivery text and these kind of stuff as well ebay might tell you otherwise or you can't like i, I seen a lot of people they add it there and adding these kind of text is simply easy just simply click on head heading add a heading right here and you can just simply say next day delivery you get the point you know and you can again if you want to change the color which is more uh you know kind of stand out you can make it red as well there are a lot of other things you can add as well like a fast and free the options are endless. You can make endless amount of pictures out of this one. Once you are done with it, what you have to do is just simply click on share right here on the top and you just simply click on download and you will be able to download this picture, which like, you know, I suggest making eight of them and download eight of them and you will be able to have a different type of different looking pictures that other sellers are not using at the same time. So this is the way you are standing out. So now once you have a picture, you upload your pictures right here then you got a title and the what title you can use a lot of people what they do is they just copy out obviously that's what i said so what you want to do is first come to the google and type wd booty spray that's the item we are selling so whatever the item you are selling it's gonna tell you some kind of benefits right here on the google right here so it's a wd 40 protect the metal all that kind of stuff as well so what i can do is like i can copy this one because this is already ranked on a google so it's it's all already a better keyword so i can copy this one in a title right here this is already have a better ranking and then i can do wd40 my one is 80 milliliter perfect title and i'm already standing out from a lot of people and i'm already using a keywords which are ranked on a google already so i'm keeping in mind seo all that kind of stuff as well so this is obviously you have to take care of you know wd40 part or all of that kind of stuff whatever the relevant is but this part is also very important to description as well so once you come to description click on show all option and then you can say see more option and once you come right here what i recommend you keep it simple you don't need to fill up with the, your what is going to be your uh, delivery and those kind of stuff as well what's your payment method people already know that so the way to keep it simple simply just right here and then always use this bullets point and then you can read whatever is the feature for your a particular item as well so what you want to do is just let's say wd40 it's protect the metal from rust so what you want to do is just simply copy that one whatever is in a google and you can do protect the metal from rust and of course we can change the color for that one to black again so this is the way you can go so what i normally do i don't use the the bold in this one and whatever the text color you, you color or the size that you prefer 18 is fine for me so you want to make like all benefits you want to put them right here and the reason we are doing this is because this is going to help us to rank on a first page this is how our listing is going to show up because you are providing as much information you can to ebay algorithm this is how you're gonna be listing most of your item you can always find the features for them on a google and once you take the picture from the website you will be able to put that in a canva and you can add the text on it you can add you can make some changes you can make multiple pictures out of that one as well so this is the first product you got the idea how to price them how to do all that kind of stuff as well the second thing which is a card seat organizer 
and for these kind of stuff as well what you need to keep in mind once he will take these one from a pound land and i will come to the fulfillment part as well once he take these one from a pound land always take this packing out just simply send the item inside the gray milling bag we talked about because this packing it look like a pound landish packing so we don't want the customer to find out that one so i always take it's just the card inside you can take it out and just straight away put the stuff inside the the packing so customer will only take the item and in a gray milling bag that you send it to them as well the next item that we have is a uh, the what the bicycle cover a lot of people they're going to be actually saving their bicycle nowadays as well so this is the item because the weather have changed so this is again you want to take out the packing just send them a cover inside the gray milling bag and you can again you start with a two pound profit you put that one in the ebay and paypal fee calculator after finding out how much postage is going to cost as well then the bicycle seat as well this always work and there is a really really good profit i have seen these items goes like eight to nine pound and they are selling crazy on the ebay as well so this is a really really great item to get started the other item that we have we already talked about it this is the wireless speaker there is a really really good profit it's i have seen it's going for like i i sold it recently for 22 pound and this item is really really great uh, and it, it's, it it only cost around three pound to ship that item as well so in ideal case scenario what you want to do is like you know go once there in your local shop and take a picture from there and this is going to really really helpful so we got wd-41 and we got car seat organizer we got bicycle cover we got bicycle seat uh, the seat and then we have the speaker as well now the question is then how do you actually fulfill these orders right so first of all you visit your local store your poundland local store as well just have a look around because sometimes the items that they have on a website might not be available in a store 99 percent of the time those items are available in a store this is what in my experience so what you have to think about like okay if i'm making these five listings and in a worst worst case scenario like in a worst worst case scenario even if i get like let's say five orders you know five orders of the item you are selling 25 items every single day and that 25 items are making you 50 pound every single day as well which is 1500 pound every single month how do you actually fulfill them you're not buying anything in advance so once you will receive the order you simply go to the poundland website these are the item which they have in always in the stock they sell them on a regular basis these are their regular items so you don't buy only one of them even if you only get one order don't buy only one of them buy more than one two three how many you can it depends on your budget at the end of day as well but keep the receipt with you in just in case if the item don't sell you can always return the item back to them in 30 days and get your money back so you got nothing to lose right there as well so once you receive the order first time before even you start listing i suggest going there and having a look once but once you receive the order first time whatever you have listed buy one of these two of these three of these keep some of them in a stock so you don't have to really go every single day you you, if you go to royal mail click and drop you can just simply print out your postage label all that kind of stuff from the royal mail website but if you don't have a printer you can buy the printer like 20 30 pound from a facebook marketplace it's not really expensive but if you don't have it you can take it to your local post office but then obviously you will have to go there every single day the reason if you have a printer you print them you put the label on them and you can drop these one into your local like you know the red box the royal mail box as well and now they have a bigger one as well where you can actually put the bigger item not just the latter as well so i hope this helped don't be discouraged oh this is a small profit and people are selling like this and people are selling like this if you can really find a way the way i show you to stand out from the crowd and bring your listing onto the first page as well trust me i have seen even your price is a little bit higher people do pay for these kind of items because they need them as well so to take it to the next level what i normally recommend if you want to find let's say uh the products from a retail store from a regular basis there is a tool which i use called profitel so what how the profitel work there is a a section called deal finder so inside the deal finder what they do they actually the way it work here they give you like at the moment they have like over 
they have 1008 products at this time so these are the products which have a less price inside the retail store and a higher price on amazon so they compare the prices with amazon but if anything selling better on amazon and it is cheaper in a retail store that the same item will do uh will do really well on to ebay as well so for example this is a this is like a iron i'm gonna open a couple of them and i'm gonna show you how they are so this is iron on a sonic direct this is 24.95 and if we go to amazon the same item is being sold for 43.82 so this is how you can actually find the deals without having to go manually to the stores as well overall you get the point like if we are trying to you know do this on a regular basis there is a good potential to be made we have a course from zero to full-time ebay seller so if you want to take it to the next level and want to know everything step by step as well it's worth investing in a course we have a great testimonial i'm going to leave the link for that inside the description i'm going to link one video right here in that video i also have mentioned a store where the person actually do this from a argos clearance and i show their store show their product as well so hope that will be helpful